In Bangladesh, if you are aware that uh, we have a government uh, from 2009 under the leadership of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, which has been vigorously fighting jihadism and religious extremism. And, um, and, and I mean, Bangladesh has not only prospered uh, in, in economically, but Sheikh Hasina has uh, tremendously, effectively, very successfully combated jihadism and uh, violent extremism. But unfortunately, the Biden administration in the recent years it is seen that it is uh, somehow showing the signs of inclination towards the radical Islamic groups in Bangladesh, including Jamaat Islamic. This is number one point. And the second point is, you will agree, Dr. Mir, that for effectively combating terrorism and jihadism, we need a very effective law enforcement agency anywhere in the world. You had, even you have in, in the U.S., FBI and other agencies. But in Bangladesh, the, the main agency, the Rapid Action, Action Battalion, which has, has been fighting effectively against jihadism and terrorism, it has unfortunately become a target of the Biden administration. So, I mean, uh, do we can we say that Joe Biden is actually in favor of jihadism, and he is, in other words, trying to patronize the elements of jihadism, and he is trying to patronize the jihadist and pro-Islamist forces to come to power in countries like Bangladesh? You know, uh, I think to suggest that he would support or in favor of any jihadism anywhere, for that matter, will not be the will not will be a mistake. That is, the United States has been waging what is called a you know a war on terrorism and on extremist groups around the world. And but I want to emphasize something: it is far from being a perfect campaign, so to speak. That is, the jihadism is, you know, extremism is popping up throughout the world, including Bangladesh, even in Israel, even in some part of Europe, certainly in the Arab world, throughout Africa, uh, in the Balkans. So they do exist. And this fight is going to be, it's a long, tedious, difficult fight. And I think President Biden has is doing what he can. But we have to also remember the limitations. Even the United States has limitations as to how far they can go in the fight against terrorism and jihadism throughout the world. This is, however, it's been the goal of the Obama administration, certainly the goal of the, this current administration led by, by President Biden. But I'm the first one to tell you that the campaign is far from being perfect. On top of this, there's no question mistakes can be made. That is in terms of assessment. You know, after all, the, the administrations rely on assessment being received from the FBI, from the CIA, from other, there are 13, 14 different kind of intelligence agencies in the United States. And so the administration received that kind of information and more, more, by and large act on that information. But to suggest that every piece of information is accurate, it's another stretch. Uh, I, I, I always, think that we as a human being have our own natural priority. We, we have shortcomings. And the shortcomings does not exclude even the most sophisticated uh, intelligence agency. But these things happen. But I think the commitment of President Biden and his predecessor, Obama, without any question, was to fight terrorism and jihadism throughout the world. And one other point I do want to mention. Sadly, Sadly, the United States has interest in various countries where there are dictatorships. Uh, you can look at the Arab world. You can look at so many different countries where there is de facto dictatorship, but the United States has to deal with these countries nevertheless. Uh, that is unfortunate in the nature of international politics and ma national interest matters wherever you go. And so too, that is why 
you know, we look at sort of the overall picture. Is the overall picture satisfactory? To some extent, one might say yes, but there is tremendous room for improvement.